Yes, um, good evening. So let me say a few words about the short-term debt relief measures that I presented to the ministers this evening and as you heard from the chairman of the Eurogroup, uh, ministers endorsed these measures. Um, so we will start implementing them over the next few weeks and then the implementation itself will take a while. I realize that I don't have to go into many details because you all know the paper that the ESM um, drafted on this, um, which was leaked, which I regret. Um, but still, let me say, let me highlight a few points. Um, so following the mandate the ESM received earlier this year, we put together proposals that we believe are workable. Um, and I think together they are um, an important step to improve Greek debt sustainability. When, when we have implemented all these measures, they could lead to a cumulative reduction of the Greek debt to GDP ratio of around 20 percentage points of GDP over the time horizon until 2060. And looking at from the gross financing side, and you remember that's the other measure that the Eurogroup accepted as a benchmark for assessing debt sustainability, um, the cumulative positive impact of these short-term measures is that by 2060, the GFN, the gross financing needs, would be almost five percentage points lower. Of course, this time horizon until 2060 is unusually long and implies great uncertainty. Therefore, um, one has to be very careful. These are estimates, our best estimate at the moment, but there is a high degree of uncertainty. Market conditions can change, um, and therefore this has to be preliminary. But very clearly, together, these measures will improve Greek debt sustainability. Looking at the proposals a little bit in more detail, there are three sets of short-term measures that we proposed and which are aligned with um, the May Eurogroup statement. The first set is about smoothing the repayment profile for Greece. This is related to Greece's second program, which was an EFSF program. The weighted average maturity of these loans um, today is 28 years, and um, this can be brought up to 32 and a half years. And as a consequence, repayment humps which existed in the 30s and 2040s, and it could have been a challenge for Greece um, if nothing had been changed, these humps will now be spread out and there will be a smoother profile for Greece um, to repay its debt. The second set of measures is about reducing the interest rate risk for Greece, and there are three different schemes for that second measure. The first is a bond exchange to recapitalize the Greek banks. The EFSF and ESM provided loans to Greece um, for 42 billion euro. These loans were not dispersed in cash, but in the form of floating rate notes, as we also did it in, in other countries like Spain, Ireland, and Cyprus, so it's a normal process. And these notes will now be exchanged for fixed rate bonds with a much longer maturity. And because the new bonds will be at fixed rates, Greece no longer bears the risk that interest rates will go up. Of course, it also means that up front there may be costs, because from the beginning then Greece has to pay, pay the higher long-term rates. But we are very certain that over time um, there will be savings, because in the longer run there will be substantial savings. The second scheme foresees that the ESM would enter into swap arrangements. This would stabilize our own, the ESM's, overall cost of funding and thereby also reduce the risk that Greece would have to pay higher interest rates on its loans um, if and when rates in financial markets start rising. The third scheme, known as matched funding, foresees that the ESM will finance future disbursements to Greece with long-term notes, and therefore this will also stabilize the interest rate cost. This entails issuing long-term bonds that closely match 
the maturity of the Greek loans. Again, market conditions may influence the degree to which these measures um, to reduce interest rate risk can be applied, and the implementation phase will be 12 to 18 months. Finally, there's a third measure in our proposal, the waiver of the step-up interest rate margin. This is related to a tranche of, any of the EMSF program, the so-called second program, that was used to finance debt buybacks. Um, on this particular tranche, um, there would be, if nothing happens, an additional margin of 200 basis points, and that will be waived for the year 2017. You may want to ask what are the costs of all these measures, the benefits I talked about, the benefits for Greece are clear, although we cannot be very precise on the quantification, but the direction is clear that it will improve debt sustainability. Are there costs for the ESM or member states? Um, they are very limited. Um, the um, cancellation of the step-up interest rates of 200 basis points will save 200 million euro. That is income that member states are giving up. Otherwise, um, all costs from the implementation of the different schemes I talked about will be borne by Greece. So that relates to interest rate swaps um, where there are costs up front and savings later. Um, there's no budgetary implications for ESM member states, um, so it's not a change of the existing program in that sense. Um, and for Greece, um, as I said already, whatever short-term costs there are have to be borne, but will be more than compensated by longer-term benefits. I think that's what I wanted to say on the program. It um, will also only have a marginal impact on our own funding um, policy, the ESM and EMSF funding for 2017. We will communicate these changes um, very soon to the markets because we, we do that always um, well in advance before we start a new year. Um, and if you wonder, we will not stop issuing shorter maturities, even though we have now a focus on longer maturities. Um, we will remain present as an issuer in benchmark size along the entire yield curve also in the future. Thank you.